Yes, he is the unfortunate general person who did not stop the first fight soon enough. Well, let's see what happens here. Here we go, scheduled for 10. Jimmy Young in the white, Tony Tubbs in the brown. And might I add, a fight that Pittsburgh has been looking forward to for an awfully long time. Jimmy Young, when he goes to the body, you'll hear him give out with gigantic exhal exhalations of air that sound like a uh, uh, wolf trying to blow down a little pig's house. The, the wolf. Uh, let me say one more thing about Jimmy Young. He's a very, very cautious fighter. He takes very few chances. So you could be in for a very exciting fight or a very boring fight. <laughs> <laughs> you have set the scene, Floyd Patterson. Along with Floyd Patterson, this is Sam Nofer and Burt Sugar. Editor and publisher of Ring Magazine, noted boxing historian, great storyteller. Oh, is anybody here listening? <laughs> I've listened to every word you've uttered. Oh. Round number one. You must tell me what I said. No, I, I wanted to also to point out that Jimmy Young, in all his fights, and he's been in 45 fights, has only been stopped twice. Once by Ernie Shavers, probably the heaviest hitter in the world. Well! Yeah. He's only been stopped twice. Oh, my As I was saying, look at his shoes. He's got... It's an ice skating rink in there for some reason. He is having problems getting his foot in. was holding on to Tubbs for dear life. Which Jimmy can do, and his shoes are not taking hold. That will be a problem, to say the least. This is when you wear leather shoes, this happens, as opposed to rubber soles. See, again, he can't get a grip. A scene uh, similar to this was seen earlier today. Many uh, of our viewers may have seen the uh, fight with Bobby Joe Young that was from San Remo, in which the ring was like uh, an ice skating rink. Did you see any of that, Bert? Yes, and uh, similar things, and he wasn't wearing uh, good left hook. He was not wearing rubber soles. The rap on Tony Tubbs has been that he doesn't have the big punch. Uh, it is said about him, despite the fact that he has knocked out 12 of his 14 opponents. He has boxing style. He is uh, hes an excellent stylist. Well, the problem was he, on national TV, took the time to go 10 rounds with Clarence Hill in a boar snore, and a lot of people started to put the rap on Tony. Under 30 seconds to go in round number one. He looks like a very confident young heavyweight tonight. Tony Tubbs is 24 years old. He is already steeped in great boxing tradition. Having fought for the Muhammad Ali Boxing Club, having been ranked as a number one heavyweight in America as an amateur. And number two in the world behind Teofilo Stevenson. Teofilo Stevenson, indeed. So he's a young man with great promise. He's been up there, at least at the amateur level, and now trying to do it as a pro. There goes Jimmy, looking at, there's no rosin in the corners. Oh, they can scrape the bottom. That sometimes will help if they scrape trying the to, They're trying now hey, down here, here before. Right, sometimes the clear right. has been worn huh? by years and years and years. It becomes a lot slippery, you know what I mean, over the years. When it wears off all the, right, no, just breathe. I guess breathe. the ingredients that went on top of it. You see your Plus the fact that we don't have any rosin right. in the corner. That's one of the, one of the number one things. Well, he was staggered by the left from Tubbs, but I think he probably slipped uh, equal amount. He took more steps backwards than would be normal. He just sort of did a, uh, a Leon Earl, if you remember him, uh, buck and wing. No, I don't, but that's not important. Round you're, number two. You're not as young as you look, then. Right? <laughs> uh, maybe the other one. Tubbs has got a great shooting left hand. He can flick his jab very nicely. But as Floyd Patterson has set the scene for us, Jimmy Young is a defensive fighter, and he is still slipping out there. His defense has always been much better than his offense. He's only got 10 knockouts out of uh, a total of 45 fights. So 30 of them victories, a couple of draws. This is the lightest he has been. Uh, at least according to Jimmy Young, since his very controversial loss to Kenny Norton some five and a half years ago. This is also the anniversary uh, uh, of his loss to Muhammad Ali, which was an equally controversial defeat. Yes, there were several people, not, not including yours truly, who thought he had beaten Ali. The Associated Press gave him the win over Ali at Landover, Maryland then. Under two minutes to go in round number two. And Jimmy Young really has yet to show any offense at all. In tough fight. I asked Jimmy, uh, I said, why, why should I look for you to be motivated when I've seen you recently and you really didn't look all that motivated? Where do you get your new desire? 
your motivation. He said, I get it from the teller at the First uh, Bank of Pennsylvania when I go in and find I need more money. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that uh, would stand to reason on a serious note. He's a young man who uh, earlier in his career commanded a pretty good payday. Then he was at the $50,000 a fight mark where he could be used as a stepping stone, but people had to pay dearly. Now he has dropped considerably. Uh, uh, I believe estimates are that he won't make any more than $10,000 for his fight for children. I think that might be high, but Jimmy, Jimmy's a tr what they call a trial horse. Uh, he always was a cutie or cautious, as, as Floyd says. In fact, the fight that made him was his cautious show when he beat Ron Lyle the first time. Remember that? Yes. That made him. Yes. That started his, his career. What do you see in Tony Cubs, Floyd? I'd like an evaluation of what you've seen so far. Well, he seems to have a lot of confidence. Uh, I guess he got his confidence from hurting the uh, which he thought he hurt him in the first round. He throws very good punches. Four-punch combination. But I'd like to see how his defense is. Young hasn't thrown anything yet. You may never learn that the rest of the night about oh, Tony right, Stevens. Right. We may not learn that in this fight. But I will say that Tom does have a very good offense. That is very good punches, very sharp punches. We are near the end of round number two. It has been Tony Tubbs. Despite the fact it's early on, Tubbs with a good combination. Ten seconds to go in the round. And another good one for TNT. I looked at Jimmy Young as he walked to the corner, and he's almost exasperated, Bert. I think, okay, the warning whistle for round number three. Neither fighter electing to take the stool between rounds. No, I think this is, I'm seeing boxing history. I don't remember two men who didn't stand in any... During the sit, you mean? Yeah. I mean, he didn't sit. He stood between rounds and every round of the fight. Well, you'll see it tonight. Jimmy Young and uh, Tony Tubbs electing not to take the stool and standing throughout the entire one-minute period between rounds. Young doing some grasping and holding on. Wouldn't it be possible? I mean, I'm sure people are sitting in parts of the country tonight, Floyd Patterson, asking themselves, if he can't fight in those shoes, why doesn't he change in between rounds? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, providing the commission would give you permission to change if you have another pair. If this were being fought in the state of New York and somebody brought a pair of shoes to Jimmy Young's rescue, would you allow the change? Uh, yes, I would. That answers that yes, question. I would. the move is, but it used to be a cautionary move. He got hit with a right hand, he went to the rope. He just walked away from it. Yeah. Kind of an ominous sign for Jimmy Young. Two minutes to go, this is round number three. Tony Tubbs was born in Cincinnati 24 years ago. He probably achieved his greatest notoriety fighting for the Muhammad Ali Boxing Club and got a lot of national publicity. Uh, at the time, the Muhammad Ali Boxing Club was on NBC uh, virtually every other week. He was a number one ranked heavyweight in the USA, as I mentioned, number two heavyweight in the world behind Teofilo Stevenson. He has beaten Ronaldo Snipes, Marvis Frazier, James Quick Tillis, Tim Witherspoon, who's here tonight and who we'll visit with later on, perhaps. All as amateurs. But all as amateurs, exactly. And I think it's obvious that uh, with only 14 professional fights, this is his biggest opportunity now. A chance to fight Jimmy Young, but it's a crippled Jimmy Young. A man who's fighting without any traction in his shoe. And also without any desire in his heart. Uh, yes, I was going to say something about that. In watching Jimmy Young fight, uh, he gives you the impression he just wants to last. He's not fighting to win the fight. He just doesn't want to get knocked out or get hurt. He's very, very cautious. Jimmy uh, has only been knocked out twice, as I was saying earlier, before the left hook in the first round. One was uh, Jerry Cooney last year that opened up the door for Cooney against Holmes. And in fact, that was two years ago. And the other time, Ernie Shavers, who could knock out anybody. He can yeah. take a good punch. Yeah. 30 seconds to go. Tubbs doing about what he wants to do, able to move. And obviously, it will uh, it would be a judicious decision on his part to keep moving because that's when Young has problems. When he tries to develop a little bit of... Uh, of movement. He is having problems with his leather soled shoes. We are at the uh, end of round number three.
And uh, I think he could go a long way. I think this is one of his, the fights he must win, and impressively, that's how you must beat Jimmy Young. Well, he's won three rounds. I don't think there's any question about that. And he is well on his way to run a fight schedule for 10. Dubs fought here about to a year ago. I say here in the city of Pittsburgh against uh, a young man who did not have great notoriety. I don't want to call him a stiff, but uh, somebody who was not Tony Tubbs equal. And Tubbs was roundly booed, uh, Bert. You'd be interested in knowing because he simply could not take the young man out. And uh, he was no match for him. And uh, it's another instance where Tubbs was in command but could not put his fighter away. And uh, Jimmy Young looks like almost a defenseless fighter tonight. And yet he can take a punch. So the question becomes, can Tubbs beat him? Beat him with enough severity that it, uh, or uh, if you will, by a tight enough margin that it's medium. You remember 10, 15 years ago there was George Trevallon. He used to be the stepping stone. Yes. Yes. Jimmy Young operates in much the same way. If Fraser knocked out Trevallon in four, Foreman had to knock out Trevallon in three to be thought of as an academy. It's a rather unenviable distinction for a fighter, but I guess at the age of 35, and having had his chances early against Norton and uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, Jimmy Young has not much to look forward to except testing young, bright uh, phenoms, and Tubbs is exactly that. It was interesting to note, Floyd, that uh, when Bert and I were talking to Jimmy earlier today, he said he thrives on this. He loves meeting young phenoms. Well, he doesn't look like he's having much success tonight. Or much fun. That no, was a terrible thing, I think, you know, that a fighter that once was at the top with his ability and the way he used to fight should... I mentioned at the uh, open of our telecast tonight uh, the people are still waiting for your official retirement notice. You never really gave it, did you? You uh, never no. said to the world, I'm through. <clears throat> no, I never said I never retired. <laughs> How much longer are you going to keep us waiting, Floyd? I, I can't hold my breath. <clears throat> Ten years, <clears throat> hasn't it? <clears throat> 1972 was my last fight. That was with Cassius Clay. Well, I'm going to still wait. How many more years? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever retire. 30 seconds to go. I don't like the world. The younger keeps doing these things, but he's not doing anything. Otherwise, he takes a step to the side, walks back to the ropes, but he doesn't do anything. So well, what is the cute. purpose of it? He's a cutie. All he's trying to do is break up Tubbs' rhythm. Ten seconds to go in round number four. Doug seems to have lost some of his desire because he's not getting much response from his opponent. Looks like playing handball. All he gets is everything he does thrown back. Good point. And the crowd is responding. They are using the thumb gloves. It could very well have been a thumb. In fact, I'd like to ask him after the fight, was it? Round number six, here we go. Floyd, he... is, Floyd is one of the advocates of the thumbless glove. And again, I remind you, we are coming to you tonight live from the Pittsburgh Hilton Hotel in Gateway Center, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm Sam Nover, along with editor and publisher of Ring Magazine, Bert Sugar, and the former heavyweight champion of the world, Floyd Patterson, and still one of the most popular men in the fight game. Must have taken you 30 minutes to get from the door to the table side here. Autograph hounds, I guess everywhere you go, Floyd, and that's a great feeling. I'm sure you've been out of the game now for 11 years as an active fighter, and it still must do your heart good to see people remember you and remember the great things you brought to the game. Well, that's right. That's the one thing that you never get tired of, people recognizing you. When they start recognizing you, then it's time to worry. <laughs> you've got nothing to worry about. Jimmy Young's jab's a little sharper now, Bert, as you've witnessed. Well, he can do this. This is uh, this is his game. I've seen Tubbs. Tubbs is pretty good at this, too. But it's not where Tubbs is going to do what he has to do, which is look impressive to move up in the ratings. Because now he's playing a game with Jimmy that he is going to be able to win, but not perceptibly uh, as a, an exciting performance or as something he outdid him win. <laughs> Cautiousness of Jimmy Young Floyd, a good test for Tony Tubbs at this point in his career. Is this really the kind of fighter that he needs uh, 15 fights into his pro career? Well, let, let, me, let me put it this way. 
Uh, Jimmy Young is a well-experienced fighter. He's very cute, very cute. And he can make a good fighter look bad. I say this is a very good experience for Tony Tubb. He will benefit by it. What, make him a better fighter. What do you mean when you say he, he's cute? I mean, well, what does that mean? As you can see, he does a lot of cute things. He ties you up. He make, in fact, he even can make you look bad. And there are times here that he is making uh, uh, Tubbs look bad by tying him up and making him miss and all that. This is a this is all good experience here. Patty Grimes, the referee. We are coming to the end of round number six. One of the things that uh, Jimmy did to make Muhammad Ali looked bad in the fight uh, back in 76 was he would lean outside the ropes when he was on the ropes and Ali was on the attack. And uh, it cost him, if not points from the judges, at least it cost him their, their favoritism for the round, but he stayed away from Ali that way. He, he could shoot his way outside the ring, and he can do things like this. Ten seconds to go. Round number six. Tony Tubbs would appear to have won all of them up till now on a five-point bus system. But Jimmy Young is making it just a wee bit more difficult now down the stretch. And as Bert Sugar pointed out, a very rare happening when both fighters elect not to use the stool between rounds. I don't remember it ever happening before, particularly in one that I've seen. It must have happened somewhere, but not in one I've seen. There would appear to be no great medicinal purpose for not using the stool, uh, other than maybe your macho image. I don't know why. Well, I have heard it said, and uh, I'm not sure who it was, but somebody once told me that it took more out of them to sit down and stand up than to continue standing. They just felt that they did not get any rest from it as well advertised. They just thought that it took a lot more out of them to push themselves up at the beginning of the next round. You buy that, Floyd? No. <laughs> I said somebody. I didn't say it. I'd like to give you the attribution, and it's someone like a Scott Ledoux or somebody whom you wouldn't think of as having said it. Tubbs, jabs are still sharp. Young with his... Say best offensive flurry, but it last for We sort of cozened him. I don't think it was much of a flurry. Yeah, but those were the best punches he's thrown since That's my point, started. Floyd. I was going to say, I was hard pressed to call it an offensive flurry, but that's about all he's shown. Under two minutes to go in the seventh round. Oh, a little high up on the head. It was. It caught him nicely, but it was a little high up on the head. And more of a slap than a direct hit. Tubbs working his combination. Young oftentimes Bert, seems or at least appears to go into Tubbs sideways. He's almost like angling at Tony Tubbs. Well, he, he's, he's great at the angles. He cut him off, but I think he's trying to get the angles less to hit him than to tie him up. Tubbs is still trying to get through that defense, sort of that crab-like defense, and Ken Norton used to do it a little, crossing your right in front of your face to the other side. This fight is almost seven rounds old. One minute to go in round number seven. We are scheduled for ten. With Big John Tate and Donnie, the master of disaster, long to follow. Our card running just a wee bit late tonight on the queue. We welcome all of you in Pittsburgh, Columbus, Cincinnati, Houston, and Dallas. Nice to have you with us and hope you're enjoying the boxing that we're bringing to you. There will be more. JL Promotions and TCS planning more of these fight cards on the queue. And something you might look forward to for the next couple of years anyway. TCS, JL Promotions with the exclusive rights to the National Golden Gloves Championships in 1984, 85, and 86. Next year it'll be held in St. Louis and all of that perhaps coming your way. At least we hope so. They are exciting guys. End of round number seven. It is here. Well, the crowd is not pleased, and, uh, and understandably, Floyd, I think you set the tone for this fight. Even the shoot from 
trouble notwithstanding, Jimmy Young's defense does not make for a very sharp fight of the field here, and I believe. What did I say? This could be a very exciting fight or a very boring fight. And it leans toward the ladder, quite honestly. Right. Although Tubbs is doing most everything within his power. But Jimmy's making him look bad simply because he's tying him up and not letting him get through. But Jimmy Young cannot win a fight yeah, this way. No, I think he only wants to get inside, Jay. What is we were working on the body? We can't win this fight. I've seen him win certain fights. Put your head down in your chest and breathe on him. And they're trying to go down there. Watch the damn shit. Corner's arguing with him to, they're exhorting him to go to the body more, to move downstairs, and Jimmy doesn't look like he's having any of it. Well, this is what happens in the whole... Eighth round. Well, he did listen to him, apparently. And let's see if he listens for the full round. And now the uh, vocalization of Jimmy Young as he goes to the body, now becoming more evident, as Bert Sugar described earlier in the fight, that once Jimmy Young started to go to the body, he would vocalize his blows. I was afraid I'd never see that happen. <laughs> or hear it. Yes. But look, he's now playing with his foot, too. Jimmy is a maestro of, of, of maneuvers that you've never seen before. <laughs> but the fact remains he has lost three in a row. He has not distinguished himself in years. He is a 13-time uh, loser as a professional, and he runs the risk of extending his losing streak to four. His value on the boxing market has dropped considerably, Bert Sugar. Oh, yes. And he still, he still stands there as merely a standard or a guide by a gauge by which you measure how well you've done. But unfortunately, Tony Tubbs did not do as well as Jerry Cooney, who took him out in an early round. Again, again, it was a cut, I just didn't want to say, but it was, he took him out, and that was the bout that propelled Cooney to the Holmes fight. However, in defense of Tubbs, it need be said that while he has scored 12 knockouts, he is not that kind of fighter. He is not a puncher. He is a boxer more than anything else. If it comes to the point where he has his uh, opponent in trouble, then perhaps uh, on occasion he can put him away. A good left by Jimmy. Tony comes back with a, a, a nice jab and an overhand right. He's putting combinations together very well. Tony Tubbs spent an awful lot of time sparring with Muhammad Ali. And suffice it to say, Ali has been his boxing hero, continues to be his boxing hero. And occasionally, you'll see some of Ali's style. He'll drop his hands at his side. I don't remember anyone who ever had more amateur wins than Tony Tubbs. 240. That is a lifetime. And he only lost, I think, 13 fights. Keep working. You that there. Keep working. Keep working. 30 seconds to go. His jab is educated. Well, it's understandable. He tutored under Muhammad Ali. You would expect him to have nothing less than an well, excellent left hand. Well, there's one thing. He does He does not do what a, several of, several people have done who look as if they're clones of Ali, including Greg Page, with the hands back and dancing around. He has his own style, and it looks like it works for him. We are at the end of round number eight. It is clearly possible that Jimmy Young has not won a round in this fight tonight. In fact, uh, glancing over at uh, my colleague Bert Sugar's scorecard, he has uh, it's seven for uh, Tony Tubbs and one even. And Floyd Patterson, how have you got it scored so far? Uh, I have it uh, shifted to left point. Going yeah. to right Same thing. Hand. Identical Same scorecard. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's cheating. He's looking at my uh, scorecard. Yeah. yeah. You, we, used to do, we used to do this at school, didn't we? No <laughs> looking over the shoulder, Floyd. <laughs> Where are you going by the point system? Let's pick up yeah. some of the audio now in the okay. corner of uh, Tony Tubbs. Okay. Same way if the body shot is there, shift that right, that left foot so that right hand goes straight in here mm -hmm. and here. All right? Mm -hmm. Breathe. All right. Ninth round, here we go. Tony Tubbs in the brown trunks. Jimmy Young in white. Tubbs undefeated as a professional, having won 14 straight. 
He is a conqueror of uh, none other than Marvis Frazier, who scored a most impressive victory over James Broad earlier today in Atlantic City, and seemingly moving along at about the same pace. It'll be hard to measure the value of Tubbs' victory over Young tonight should he succeed in beating Jimmy and the uh, impressive win by Marvis Frazier. I think a lot has to be said about the fact that Frazier was fighting with a revenge factor, Bert. Well, I also think that uh, Marvis Frazier had turned around all of the negative comments in one fight. Uh, he, his heart wasn't in it. He had no chin. I think his is probably one of the most impressive performances coming back from a bad rap that I've seen, which leads me into my next comment. We'll see if John Tate can do similarly by turning around his bad raps tonight. A couple of minutes left here in the ninth round. I think a point that uh, you made earlier, Bird, has around his uh, guard. Kind of a stumbling left hook. A point that you made about all of the amateur fights that Tony Tubbs has, it becomes apparent he has great awareness. I think he's got great ring, ring savvy, don't you, Rick Floyd? Oh, uh, yes, that he does. No question about it. He's a very, very good fighter. He doesn't look that good tonight simply because he's fighting a guy who's concentrating 100% on defense. And when you get fighters like that, they make you look bad. Well, this, is, this is important to many people decrying the fact that people are like Davey Moore winning championships in their eighth pro fight. But they have 140 amateur fights. On, right. And it's a like good experience. AAA baseball training to move into the majors, and they don't understand that. They don't relate it. Yeah, I always say the more experience you have in the amateurs, the better prepared. I think uh, Young was hurt with a slow. Oh, wow. Good right good, hand. Good right hand. Before in fact, he's been landing him almost without retaliation for the whole round now. Going to the body of the he, tried to, he tried to deliver one upstairs to Tony Tubbs. 30 seconds to go. And there is ample body to go to, though, a little less so than in his last fight for Jimmy. Right back there, right there. Come on. I don't think that Tony Tubbs wants to get involved in a, in a slugfest at this stage, does he? He doesn't mind. It's to his advantage. He's the stronger fighter that way. In fact, he's landed more punches this round than he did in all the other rounds. Oh, yeah. He's got more knockouts in 12 fights than, uh, in 14 fights than Jimmy Young has in, in 43 and 45. End of round number nine. Three minutes separates Tony Tubbs from a unanimous and it will be debated i imagine whether you can word, use the word impressive or not nonetheless a victory that will be well earned and as floyd patterson has pointed out repeatedly tonight against an opponent who is folks fought almost exclusively on the defense and it will be a stepping stone what is next for tony tubbs remains to be seen it's almost a uh, state tuned kind of situation Oh, I think he'll move up, and I think he'll try, if, if he, 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 he and his manager and trainers are smart, they'll move him up against ever-increasingly difficult opponents, and I think that's where he has to go after this fight. He can't look back. In fact, he told me that he, he wants to fight contenders. He wants to fight those above him, never looking back behind him again. Well, we're set for the final three minutes of this fight. Round number 10. Referee Patty Grimes brings Jimmy Young and Tony Tubbs together, and here we go. And it's Tubbs' fight if he can survive three minutes. And against Jimmy Young, that should be no great task. I think I could survive three minutes with Jimmy Young. <laughs> I'm not quite so bold. Uh, I'm not quite so bold. I don't think I'd ever want to be tested. Yes, well, I weigh more than he does, like yes. Tony, so I can get away with that. <laughs> good double jab. I'll tell you, I'm impressed with Tubbs' jab. It's a good jab. It's not, as we saw before with Kip Kane, it's not that battering ram jab. It's a fast jab, but he can bring it back and bring it forward again and again and again with a, a stinging rapidity. Well, not a great deal was expected from Jimmy Young tonight, and not he a great deal has been delivered. Two minutes to go in the fight. 
course, he got off to that rather inauspicious beginning with shoes slipped and slid all over the canvas. Or is it slipped and slided? I'm not a grammarian. Somebody once asked me how, like slipped and slid, how you can go back and forth. It's, it's forth and back. You've got to go forth to come back. So I don't know if it's slipped and slid or slid and slid. <laughs> uh, he's a funny man, isn't he? Oh, that's the most activity I've seen from Young since the fifth round. Well, because he's got a paycheck to pick up in a minute and ten seconds, maybe. No, that's been terribly unfair. Wow. Jimmy Young has been, a, right. been an excellent fighter over the years, and uh, it is safe to assume that despite uh, being in pretty good physical shape, or at least in a weight that he feels comfortable at, that his better days are behind him. A minute to go in the fight. Tony Tubbs may have to be reckoned with. There are a lot of great promising young heavyweights. You're looking at one of them now. At the age of 24 out of Cincinnati, Ohio, Tony Tubbs is now the victor of 15 consecutive fights. He has beaten his first big name opponent in Jimmy Young. You are about to see another one in Donnie Long. He will go against John Tate and I can assure you that he will meet greater resistance than did Tubbs tonight in this fight. I'll tell you, coming off this, I think that South could probably beat James Broad. He moves the car fast enough. He moves around. I think he could probably take the measure of James Broad. It will not be out of the realm of possibility, gentlemen, that somewhere down the road you'll see Marvis Frazier and Tony Tubbs again. They fought once as an amateur. It was a highly billed fight, carried nationally by NBC. And uh, maybe now, at this stage of their pro careers, they may be put back into the ring together. After impressive wins tonight, this one is all over. And Tony Tubbs has won it. Morris with the result of the fight. Judge Vukovic, Vukovic, 49 for Tubbs, 43 for Young. Judge Baker, 49 for Tubbs, 42 for Young. Referee Grimes, 49 for Tubbs, 42 for Young. The winner, Tony TNT Tubbs. Now for Tony Tubbs, Jimmy Young there to embrace him. There was and no surprise there. And applaud him, no. And very close to what you scored. I see you had 50 to 40. You had it a little bit more decisive uh, for uh, Tony Tubbs. Well, what happened was they probably gave the fifth round, which is the only round he won on one card, and he had one draw to Young. Floyd, I want you to look at what's upcoming now. As I mentioned, it'll be John Tate and Donnie Law. Bert Sugar and I have talked a little bit about John Tate, about the bum rap that he's got in the glass jaw. No, I've done that.